Hello and welcome all. This is Pooja and today in this session we are going to learn a very important topic in reasoning which is family tree and blood relations. Yes, when it comes to family tree and blood relations, it's all easy to understand because it's all about the things happening around you. A family tree is nothing but the structure of family members linked together generation wise and probably age wise. This is how a family tree looks like when all the members come together under one roof. So let's start something interesting by starting to plan or map your family tree. Let's start with you in the focus. If you are being the starting point of your family, let's understand how other members are lined up and linked together. You'll have your parents, you call them as father and mother. The next generation or the generation above them would be your grandparents. You may call them by different names in your regional language, but in English it's very simple, we call them as grandfather and grandmother. Now these uh, grandfather or grandparents may have kids, one of them can be your father. You may have different uncles and aunties, with, again in different local or regional languages, we call them by different names. But when it comes to English, it's very easy, we all are referring them as uncles and aunties. So you have the next generation which where your siblings, your cousins who are of the same age falls into this category. So let's understand how this family can be structured generation wise. Let's start with the first generation which is the topmost generation. It starts with your grandparents. Your grandfather marries your grandmother and they have kids. Maybe one of them is your father. Now this is a sample tree. So we can take it as a family of two sons. Now these sons get married. One of them can be your dad marrying to your mother and your uncle marrying to your auntie. This is how the second generation starts. When it comes to the third generation where you are the one along with your sister and brothers and also few cousins of your uncles and aunties. So this is how a family looks like when it comes to different generations starting from the grandparents to your parents to you and if you extend your family then the next generation would be generation 4.